This movie was originally supposed to star Judy Garland and Frank Sinatra, but Judy dropped out, as was her wont to do in those days, whereupon Shirley Jones, being a great favorite of both Rogers and Hammerstein, did into the picture. Well, Frank Sinatra and Shirley Jones recorded the music track for the film together and also did wardrobe tests together, but Frank ended up dropping out himself. The excuse was that when Frank learned each scene in the movie was going to be shot twice, once for widescreen projection, another in the normal postage stamp dimensions, Frank said he would, in essence, be shooting two movies, so he had to be paid for two movies. And when he wasn't, he walked. Well, in Shirley Jones' memoir, however, she says Frank left the movie because his wife, Ava Gardner, from whom he was separated but not yet divorced, asked him to join her in Europe, where she was making a movie on location. And Frank did. Whatever the reason, though, once Frank Sinatra left, Gordon McRae, Shirley Jones' co-star from Oklahoma, was brought on board and given the most demanding role of his career. Up next, Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy sound an Indian love call. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Jeanette McDonald and Nelson Eddy strike a chord in Rosemary. Then Catherine Grayson is kidnapped to a hideaway in the desert song. And Eleanor Powell and Robert Young stay in tune for Lady Be Good. <laughs> 